hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be a hella long video, I can already tell it right now. Tell it? Tell right now because it is a massive makeup haul. I can't even remember the last time I did a makeup haul on my channel and I feel like it's been donkey's years. Some of the stuff was sent to me, I will mention what was ever, what, what, what was ever, whatever was sent to me. And I will talk to you about what I bought myself. There's MAC in here, Tarte, Pixie, Urban Decay. There's just a lot of stuff guys, so strap yourself in because you're in for a treat. I'd go get myself a snack, to be honest, because this is gonna be hella long. Hella, hella long. I'm gonna start off with the products I got from Tarte Cosmetics. In Ireland, it's so hard to get Tarte. You have to buy it from the website. I just really wanted to come to Ireland sometime soon because I just can't be dealing with it. But I decided that I was going to break down and purchase some of their Amazonian K12 hour blushes because I hear such amazing things about these online. I've never tried them because like I said, Tarte is kind of difficult to get here in Ireland and you have to buy from the Tarte website and shipping costs an arm and a leg. Sometimes it's just not worth it in the end, but I decided I would pick one up just to give it a try and I picked up the shade Captivating. That was the only one that was in stock that I thought I would actually wear. And I cheated, I know this is a haul, but I am wearing it on my cheeks today. I just thought that it was such a beautiful blush. When I opened this package this morning, I was like, I have to try that straight away. So this is what the shade looks like. It's beautiful, like right up my alley. I love like my corally kind of neutral blushes. And I just think that this is superb. The pigmentation in these is pretty amazing for a blush, but it is pretty decent. You get good color payoff. When I applied this initially to my cheeks, I was like, oh dear lord, you've applied way too much. Uh, tone it back Ashling. So that is the Amazonian clay blushes. I'm not really sure how much they cost I will try and write down the prices of whatever I can find and I'll link everything in the description bar below The next thing I purchased was something that Casey Holmes recommended I'm actually doing a video testing out my subscribers favorite makeup and youtubers favorite makeup So I picked this product up to test it out for the youtubers favorite makeup Obviously because Casey Holmes was the one who recommended it and it's the Park Avenue princess This is the Celestial palette and look at this packaging guys. I am actually shook, shook to my core over this packaging. Look at it, it is so pretty. It's like this, le I was gonna say leopard skin, oh my God, crocodile skin pattern and it's rose gold and gold and it's so pretty. And it's this contouring and highlighting kit so you can see it there. Actually only this one has a bit of a sheen to it and this one is more matte. So I'm looking forward to testing these out. I'm sorry guys, I'm totally blinding you with this packaging. I'm sorry, it's just so fierce and extra. But I'm gonna be testing it out in that YouTuber's favorite makeup tutorial. These two shades here are shimmery and these two are matte and I am I'm just looking forward to giving it a whirl in that video so keep an eye out for that because it will be coming soon. The next purchases I made were from MAC and I picked up two of their retro matte liquid lip colors. Now I remember I had the red one, I still have the red one and I really like the formulation of them. I'm not a liquid lipstick kind of gal and I've talked about that a hundred and one times, you guys know the drill. It's just I find that they're so drying on my lips and I can't wear them and I feel like they're really uncomfortable and I don't know what it is about them but I'm just not into liquid lipsticks. But I did really enjoy the matte, the MAC ones. And I picked up two more shades because I said, come on, let's give it a go. I want to branch out this year and try more things and get away from like too many nudes and too many kind of OG colors that I'm always using. And I want to just kind of create more exciting makeup looks for you guys. So I picked up two shades. I know they're nudes. And I've just said that I was gonna branch out, but they're kind of dark nudes. So the first one here is the color So Me, and then the one underneath here is Burnt Spice. And again, I cheated, because Burnt Spice, oh! Oh dear lord. Burnt Spice is actually what's on my lips today and I am obsessed with this shade. It's just a beautiful warm toned brown, but it's not too, too warm where it looks orange on your complexion. It's just really, really nice. And I think So Me is like a gorgeous, like mauve brown shade. So I will swatch them for you guys. So that's what both those shades look like. Burnt Spice and So Me. I'm really digging them, digging them. I'm bringing the word digging back. I'm really into these. I think they look so nice. Very, very comfortable, not too drying. It kind of has like that little bit of moisture in it that doesn't make it like your lips look like they're falling off or dead. And I hate when you get like that butt hole in the center of your lips. And I found that from the red one that I have of these that it doesn't do that. So I'm excited to wear these. Moving on, I went and made a purchase from ColourPop. I actually only wanted one thing from there but I felt like in order to get like 
the value for money and free shipping and whatever. I spent like $30 there, 30 or whatever. I can't actually quite remember. I picked up a good few bits from there. Now, some of the things I'm like, why did I buy these? Because first of all, like what was your thinking behind that? And second of all, I was like, you know, you don't need that. So I don't know, some of my purchases from Colourpop were a little bit obscure. I don't know what I was thinking. The first obscure thing that I picked up and when my order arrived, I was like, did I really seriously pick that up? And it is the Super Shock Cheek Matte Blush in the shade between the sheets. Guys, I don't know what I was thinking when I bought this. Like, I don't know why I purchased this. This is not even something that like even screams to me. It's not something that is my cup of tea. Would you ever come out? It's just this blush, obviously, but it's more of like a cream formula. And again, I don't know why I purchased this. So it's like a moussey kind of formula. It's a nice shade. Don't know why I picked it up because I possibly won't be wearing it. It's just not something that I'm into. I don't really like cream blushes. The shade's gorgeous and all, but it's just... They're like cream to powder formula, but I just don't feel like I'll reach for it. I don't know. The other thing I don't know what my thinking behind was getting the cream gel liner in Honey Dude. Now I've heard lots of people talk about this for the waterline. It's a cream shade, you know, that you put in your waterline to kind of open it up. But I have so many of these liners. It's like, why did I buy another one? It's just an eyeliner and it's a nude shade. No idea why I purchased it because I have enough nude eyeliners so I might give that to my sister. These are what I actually went online to purchase. It was the no filter concealers and they had just come back in stock. I picked up three shades so I picked up the shade light neutral, light and then deep tan and I said to myself that I was going to test them out because they're a favourite of Shan XO's and I thought maybe for that YouTuber favourite makeup I would test them out. This is very light. What? I have heard that these do oxidize, so maybe I was right in picking up such a light shade. Oh man, that is really, really pale. And then I got the shade Light. Oh, that actually might work for me. That's that shade there. And I got 55 Tan to cream contour with, but now looking at that, that looks way too light to cream contour with. Like a couple of shades darker than my foundation. Hmm, we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, I'm gonna test them out in the video and just kind of give them a whirl and see what I think of them. Then I picked up a liquid lipstick and this is in the shade 951. I just really liked the color of this. It was like a brownie mauve shade. And that's it there. So it's a little bit like Burnt Spice from MAC, just a tad bit warmer. But I really liked it and I saw it on the website and I wanted to pick it up. I picked up a lip gloss, ultra glossy lip. Yeah, and this is in the shade curvy and this is what it looks like this actually looked really nice on the website i just thought this lip gloss looked really nice and definitely something that i would be into because obviously it's nude and then i picked up two liners again curvy and 952 these look quite similar actually i don't need any more nude liners i would have been much better off getting something a little bit darker or a bit more out of my comfort zone. That's what they look like there and they both look quite similar so there's probably no point in owning both. Anyway, I don't know what the hell I was doing on Colourpop's website. I think we can see that from the products I bought. I had no idea what I was buying. I was just trying to make up an order so I could get the concealers and even at that, yeah, the concealers have oxidized a little bit and they've gone teeny bit darker. But even at that, I didn't even pick up the right shades in the concealer. So I feel like the Colourpop order was a little bit of a fail on my behalf. These next products are from the brand Pixie. I did not buy these. These were sent to me from Pixie, so I'm really appreciative of that. And one of the first things they sent me was this double cleanse and this is a solid cleansing oil and a cr cream cleanser and it's basically a two-step makeup remover product so that's what it looks like so this reminds me a little bit of the Clinique take the day off or take the day away I can't remember the name of that product so it's like a balm that basically you remove your makeup with and I've heard great things about this the next thing that I was sent was the t-zone peel off mask which I'm really excited to try that because I love me some t-zone help so that's what that looks like i know that my t-zone gets extremely oily so anything to help with that i got this glowy gossamer duo which is a highlighting duo it looks like that then i was sent the liquid fairy lights which looks actually really nice i didn't open or didn't like actually take the product out i just looked at it in the packaging and it kind of reminds me of the stila magnificent metal products so that's what that looks like and let's swatch it there Ooh, you are very pretty 
that is that. Oh my god, that's so pretty. What shade is this one in? This is in Bare Brilliant. Very excited to try that. I'm gonna do a tutorial with that. That looks so gorgeous. And then the last thing they sent me was the lower lash mascara, which I love me some good lower lash mascara to get right at the little lashes on the lower lash line. And that is the tiniest little thing ever. Love it. So thank you so much, Pixie. These are my first Pixie products. I've never tried anything from them before. So I'm intrigued intrigued and excited to test out those products. Okay, so next up we have some BH Cosmetics. I just picked up two things from the website. The first one is this blush palette. I have enough blushes in the world to do me for a lifetime, but I wanted to pick this up again for my YouTubers, testing out my YouTubers' favorite makeup products. Oh my God, why can't I open this? Uh, Carly Bible raves about this. She talks about this all the time. So I was like, right, well, let's pick it up. That's what it looks like. There's tons of different blushes in it. She uses this palette in almost every single one of her tutorials. So I wanted to give that a go. And then when I was on the website, I saw that they had concealers and <laughs> I am a sucker for concealers. I love concealers. So I picked up this shade in number 104 and it's their new, or well, I don't know if they're new, but I've never seen them before. They're the Total Coverage Concealers. I just liked the look of it and it was really affordable and I just said to make up the order, so why not? So that's it there. I'm gonna give that a go in a tutorial as well. Okay, Makeup Revolution was another brand I kind of went ham on. I picked up the concealers. You would have seen them already. I tested them out already, but I did pick up a couple of palettes from them as well to test out. I picked up the mint chocolate palette because I just thought that this looked really, I don't know, interesting. I thought that this maybe was a dupe for the subculture, but then I saw something else, which kind of made me rethink it. But I just thought that this eyeshadow palette looked really cool. Like there's blues and yellows in it. There's lovely teal shades in it and greens. And I just thought maybe this might be something nice for kind of a more out there eyeshadow look. I just saw it on the website and it kind of calls to me. The other two eyeshadow palettes I picked up were from their Reload collection and these are brand new. These were only four pounds. I'm not sure how much they were in euro because I actually, sorry, I bought all of these things off Superdrug, not Tam Beauty because I've given up on Tam Beauty's shipping. So this one is actually more like the Subculture palette and this one is just a beautiful warm toned palette. This one's called the Neutrals 2 and this one's called the Iconic Division. I'm really Really excited to try these in a tutorial. I think I might give both of these a go in a video, like just see what the pigmentation of them is like, because like I said, they're four pounds. And I just think that's really good, like just really good pricing for eyeshadow palettes, especially if you don't have the money to spend on higher end brands. And if these work out well, that's a winner winner chicken dinner. And then I picked up the blush palette. The reason I picked this up is because one of my subscribers recommended it for testing out my subscriber's favorite makeup. And she said that she loved this blush palette. It is the Hot Spice one. And looking at it now, all the shades are right up my alley. So I am dying to try this. And I can't wait to film that video. I think I'm missing like a couple more products or waiting for them to arrive. I think I'm missing like a highlighter and a bronzer. I still don't have a bronzer. So if there's anything that you guys recommend bronzer or highlight wise let me know because I think I have everything else which I'm excited to try so there's just a couple more little bits that I picked up from Superdrug and in that same Superdrug order I just picked up a couple of things from Maybelline so I picked up their Fit Me Maybelline Matte and Poreless Powder I feel like this is either for my subscribers favorite makeup products or YouTuber, I have them all written down, I'm not really sure, but I picked this up just because somebody had recommended it. Same with this product, this is a YouTuber's favorite product. I will, I can't remember who recommended it, but I have to pick it up. This is the Master Chrome Highlight. I don't want to test these products out, guys. You will see them in a video coming up very soon. It's just, I don't want to spoil the first impression of them. But this looks so pretty and it's in the shade Molten Gold. It's one of their highlighters and whoever was it that was recommending it said that it was one of their favorite highlighters of the entire year. I think it was Nicole Concilio. I don't know, I'll remember when I'm actually filming that video because I've listed all the YouTubers. And then I picked up one of the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipsticks. I am gonna swatch this, cause why not? So I picked up the shade Loyalist. Dying to try out this shade on my lips, but it does look quite nice. It's quite nude actually, it's like a pinky nude. I have a ton of Urban Decay products, some that were sent, 
one that I bought and these are the products that were sent to me so first thing I want to show you is the distortion eyeshadow palette I just think it's just really different it's something that I wouldn't ordinarily pick up but I know an awful lot of my subscribers have said they got this for Christmas and they wanted to see looks with it so actually I do looking at it now in the daylight again these shades at the bottom are so intriguing to me like they're kind of like duochromes then I love that green and that orange and the blue was actually lovely I wonder if that black is really dark I'm very excited actually I'm gonna try that in a tutorial because why not it does look quite intriguing and then also Urban Decay launched this drop shot mix in facial oil which it's just a facial oil obviously but I'm kind of intrigued about this as well you can mix it in with your foundation to give kind of more of a, a dewy effect probably not something I would gear towards because I'm quite oily as it is and I try and stay as matte as possible throughout the day because I just don't like my foundation looking oily I just obviously is not a look I go for with oily skin but it might be interesting maybe to mix in at, you know with your moisturizer or something at night to kind of give yourself like a little bit more hydration because our skin does get dehydrated even if you've got oily skin it can be dehydrated and then Urban Decay also came out with two new settings sorry one's a setting spray and one is a priming spray so this is the all nighter pollution protection spray and then the other one is the collagen infused complexion prepping sprays I'm gonna try the all nighter pollution protection spray why not I love the all nighter setting spray it's one of my favorites and I'm dying to see what this one's like. I don't know if that's gonna protect me from the pollutants out there, but we'll give it a go. And obviously they came out with a new all-nighter concealer, and this is definitely not gonna be my shade, so I think Ollie will be getting another concealer. This is in the shade Fair Neutral, but that's their new all-nighter concealer, which I've heard mixed reviews on. I'm not really sure how I feel about it. I'll buy my own shade and we'll give that a go but Ollie can tell me what she thinks of it and then I picked up the all nighter foundation myself because I wanted to try this out for testing my subscribers favorite makeup and somebody recommended the Urban Decay all nighter it comes with a pump which I'm excited about and I can't wait to film both those videos guys you actually have no idea because the amount of makeup I've had gathered up here like waiting for it to arrive recommendations from you guys and then products that I've seen other youtubers rave about and I just wanted to try them out so and then the last couple of the things I picked up were from I think I got these either from Feel Unique, Look Fantastic or Beauty Bay. I'm not really sure. I think there could be a mix of all three. But the first thing is the RCMA Original No Color Powder. Again, this was recommended so much by my followers to test it out in a video so we're gonna give that a go as well I've heard this is supposed to be amazing and then I picked up Schwing liquid liner from the BAM that was either recommended by a subscriber or was recommended by a youtuber I can't quite remember now because it just everything's like thrown into like a tub because everything that arrives I'm like okay that's going into a video but I don't know which video it's going in the list is endless and then the final thing that I want to talk about is from dose of colors this is the undress lip gloss I just have such a litany of like different products I don't even know what I have in here do you know that because it's just such a mix so this is what that liquid not liquid lipstick it's a lip gloss it looks like this and it's nude I didn't think it would be quite this nude but this was a recommendation by again either a subscriber or a youtuber and that's it there all the nudes I'm obsessed with nudes and I'm trying to branch away from them and I keep buying more nude products I think I showed this in a vlog this is just one other product that's actually in this box but I don't know if you can actually get it anymore it's the heavy metals palette from Urban Decay and they sent that out to me as well which I'm really appreciative of and it looks like this absolutely gorgeous like look at those shades I am so into all these particular shades here obviously these shades are pretty gorgeous over here but like we want a little bit of color in our life this palette I think came out at Christmas time or before Christmas so I really hope you can still pick it up I will try and link it down below but it is gorgeous and I've swatched nearly all of the shades and I cannot wait to use this if you can still purchase it I will do a tutorial with it but if not then I will just test it out and see what I think 
and let you guys know I don't know I feel really bad when I talk about products that you can't buy because it's just like what's the point I hate when my battery dies because I have no idea what the last thing I said was but anyway I think I had gone through everything guys and I am so excited to test out all this makeup I just felt like I had so much makeup that I just wanted to haul it for you guys and just show you what I was picking up and kind of things you can expect coming up in videos thank you so much for watching sorry this video is ridiculously long but you know sometimes you need a little bit of a long video just sit down and have a chat and kind of see what's new on the scene and what I've picked up um yeah so thank you so much guys for watching and I will talk to all of you guys in my next video I love you guys so much Mwah.